Gordon, Spencer, and the Extra Christmas Eve Trains, written by Duck Chef Studios. Gordon and Spencer get along most of the time, but sometimes they don't. And this was one of those days. Oh, Gordon, teased Spencer. Still, still on freight duty? What a shame. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Gordon. Oh, Spencer, there's dirt on your tender. Is that suitable for a Duke and Duchess? It was Christmas Eve, and the Duke and Duchess had a business meeting with Sir Topham Hatt. So Spencer delivered them to Sir Topham Hatt. The two engines were both at Nadford Station when Sir Topham Hatt came out looking worried. Oh dear, Gordon, Spencer, there are some extra Christmas trains that need to go to the mainland. Spencer, the Duke and Duchess have agreed to let me borrow you for these trains. And Gordon, I'll give you a special treat to pull these passengers. But can you two put aside your differences for Christmas? These people need to be taken home. Yes, sir, said Spencer. Yes, sir, said Gordon. Since there wasn't much time to find other coaches, the Duke and Duchess's private coach was used with Spencer. Here you go, Spencer, said Rosie. Thank you, Rosie. And Gordon got two of the express coaches. Here you go, Gordon, said Rosie. Thank you, Rosie. Bear rolled up. I don't know if you'll make it in time, said Bear, but good luck. Thank you, Bear. Gordon and Spencer raced off. But instead of insulting each other, they complimented each other. My, Gordon, for a freight engine, you're pretty fast. My, Spencer, for an engine that normally only pulls one coach, you are quite strong, said Gordon, as the two cousins puffed along. Oh dear, said Spencer. Can we make it in time? Can we make it? But I'm Spencer the Grand. I'm sure I can. I'm sure I can. Oh dear, can we make it? Can we make it? I've done it before. I'm sure I can, said Gordon. They really were, they really hoped they could get the passengers to the mainland on time. It was a race against the clock to get these passengers home on Christmas Eve. The two cousins passed the, went over the Vickerstown Bridge. And soon arrived at Barrow and Furnace on the mainland. D199 was there. He just picked up his passengers and left. Well, Gordon, said Spencer, this was a pretty good Christmas, and I got to spend it with you. Well, Spencer, I, I must admit, this Christmas was grand, because I got to spend it with Spencer the Grand.